Okay, so present yourself and tell us about what you do and who you are. I'm sure. Uh, my name is Matej Szykowski and I'm the CEO of Xerologic. Xerologic is an app store search company. We basically do search for app stores. Uh, we have indexed right now 650,000 apps on iOS, Android, and Windows 7. And we are about giving you really relevant search results. What excites people is that we, part of our algorithm is we estimate the download number of each app for each country. So I really know, for example, who the top app developers and the top apps in Spain are. And, and people would be surprised. It's not, it's not the big local brands you know, from the digital world. It's new players. It's a lot of independent developers too. So that's exciting to us. But what are the highlights of your presentation today? Uh, the highlights were, for the first time ever, we shared some data um, um, Apple or Google or Microsoft have not given yet. Uh, we gave away the um, download data for the UK, for, 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 for iOS iPhone, which is 98 million. Um, I think uh, for, for Android, I think it was something over like 36. And um, Windows Phone 7, which was 2. France and Germany were over 60 million. And so the key message there was, it's way bigger than people think, right? We have all the saying how it's, it's not and it's still developing, but it's actually really, really, really huge already. And um, you were talking about the importance of free mm -hmm. in the apps. Can you explain a bit? The... Yeah, sure. So basically, most of these downloads are free uh, downloads, right? I think on Android it's less than 0.1%. And on, on, on iPhone, it's 20% only of all downloads are paid. And so basically, if you look at this data, and also like how Valley thinks about this, is you know, this, this, this trend is about people using it, about thousands and millions of people using it. It's about disruptive industries, right? I was showing a slide from Rob Conningberg, who is an um, investor in Koala, Shasta Ventures, and he, you know, he was giving examples of. You know, lodging, you know, Airbnb, you know, this is what, what it dis disrupts, or radio, Pandora, right? So these apps are really disrupt disrupting industries, and this is the hands about usage. And if you really want to, um, to make money, then you have to go into things like in a purchase or in a bit of advertising. People want to use your app for free, want to see where the experience is great enough, you know, where, where they love this app, where it's valuable. And then, only from that, you need to figure out what kind of features people love and are willing to pay for. And uh, about you more personally, like you've been, you originally come from Poland and you've been yeah. all around the world. The last I knew about you were living in the US and working for Venture. Uh, one of the things that you were doing was uh, cooperating with VentureBit. And now we, we're running to each other at this conference. You tell me you moved to Berlin two months ago. So what's What's going on with yeah, all this sure. traveling? Yeah, what sure. what is yeah, so basically, um, actually, I'll tell you the real story. So, um, I was in 2007, uh, no, let's give it some story. In 2006, I was part working here uh, in, in this digital space here in Europe at an Excel Black startup. And this is where I learned kind of my trade, my first steps. And in 2007, I was working for Admob's largest publisher for a couple of months. And more business mobile advertising network, and I've seen the numbers on wow, mobile is the next thing. And that's why I went over to, to the Valley again in 2008. I ran into Matt Marshall, who's the post venture lead, and basically I helped him to build up his mobile event business and mobile coverage. So I think last year I was the co chair at, at Mobile Meet, and I'm running there, and we're staging, and I'm thinking about what kind of speakers and all that stuff. And, and it's great for me because for my startup, right? This was my hidden agenda. I got to know so many people I wanted to know for, for my startup. Um, and the startup has already actually been going on for two years. So venture beat was always a sidekick. Uh, sidekick. And uh, we were bootstrapping, we're still bootstrapping. Uh, we're cash flow positive. We're, we're really happy where we're at. And yeah, but I'm still doing um, like for the mobile beat conference. I'm doing some speaker stuff for my and why move to Berlin then? Why coming from, like, everybody wants to go to the valley. And you, you are there, you create your network, you have a valuable yeah. situation, and you say, like, I'm going to Berlin. Um, it's, 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 it's like two, two parts of it. The rational part is, 
I know most people are not to know, probably, in, in my own little niche. Uh, or if I need to know anybody, I, I can do that. Or, you know, I'm there like every two, three months and, 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 and do whatever I need to do there. That's part one. The second part is, I really want to at home, Ramon. Like, the, you know, the pleasures of having your own kitchens, your own bread, fest, uh, you know, and have a sense of, you know, where you belong. And, and I was really thinking about a part of where it should be San Francisco or somebody else, some, some other place. And I wanted to pick a place in Europe. I was thinking about London, I was thinking about Paris or Warsaw. And to many people came to Europe, it's brilliant. It's, if you're young, if, you, if you're imaginative, it's the best place in Europe. Right now, I think. And uh, so you've always been very much into the, all the starter scene in, in all these countries and related to technology and mobile. Is there anything that, you, that for you that stands up, out, like in the commonalities or in the differences? Um, that's a good question, and, and I'm probably to give you a clever answer when I probably need to think hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think if, um, if, 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 I, if, if it's a just gut feeling, like, I would say, like, in, uh, Berlin is probably the center in Germany here, right? Where you have probably 10,000 people in around tech and startups in this town, possibly more. Um, I would say London is 10 times bigger, and the valley is 20 times bigger than London. Um, um, just, I don't know, that's just a guess. So it's the sizes, right? And so the question, how big is it, and what kind of things cater? What, what I've noticed is in the like, cool kids, until 2007, 2008, who wanted to start up and went to London, just doesn't happen anymore. Um, uh, like, I went to international high school, all people are coming to Berlin right now, for whatever reason, I find it very strange. Now I came to here, like, as one of the last guys, right? Um, in terms of, like, what, what, what does a particular town enable? You know, if you're a Brussels guy, right? Spanish Brussels guy, so you're doing, you know, different cultures, different places too. You know, it's like each place has its charm, right? It's, it's about an event, it boils down to real people and what they do. So, so this is how I think about this. I think less about cultures. I think, you know, what kind of people are there and, and making a difference to the startup community. Okay, thank you.